Now we consider a loss averse news vendor with a stochastic reference point. More precisely, we consider exactly the same setting as before, but now we assume that the news vendor's reference point is given by rational expectations. Let us start with the utility. When ordering 11 units, we again have to distinguish two cases. The first case, which occurs with probability of 30%, is that the demand is just 10. From before, we know that when ordering 11 units and having a demand of 10, the profit of the news vendor is given by 56. And now this news vendor compares this 56 to the two possible realizations. So with a probability of 0.3, the news vendor expected the profit to be 56. In this case, we can multiply with the um, gain loss parameter eta and we have the expected profit to be equal to the realized profit. With a probability of 0.7 the news vendor expected to have a profit or to have a demand of 11 or more and to have a profit of 66. So in this case the news vendor is worse off than the reference point, so we have to multiply with eta and lambda. Expected to get 66, but only get 56. So, have a look at it again. The news vendor made a profit of 56, with a probability of 0.3, expected a profit of 56 and with a probability of 0.7 expected a profit of 66. Now we also have to consider the other case with a probability of 0.7 the news vendor ordered so the news vendor always ordered 11 units but with a probability of 0.7 the news vendor also sells 11 units. So in this case, makes a profit of 66. With a probability of 30%, the news vendor expected a profit of 56, only selling 10 units. So in this case, here the news vendor is better off than this reference point. And with a probability of 70%, the news vendor expected to have a profit of 66, which is equal to the realized profit. So let us first summarize and simplify the expressions. So we have 0.3 times a profit of 56. This cancels out exactly like this. So we can write 56 minus 0.7 times 1 half times 2 times 66 minus 56. So it's equal to 10 plus 0.7 times the profit of 66 and now the news vendor benefits from being better off than the reference point which happens with the probability in this case of 0.3 times eta which is one half times the difference between 66 and the reference point of 56 so equal to 10 and further simplifying it, 
we get 0.3 times 56 minus 1 half times 2 times 10 times 0.7, which is 56 minus 7, which is 49 plus 0.7 times 66 times 0.3 times 10 is 3 times 1 half is 1.5, which is then 67.5. And if we calculate it, we get an expected utility of 0.3 times 49 plus 0.7 times 67.5, which is equal to 61.95. So now we've calculated the news vendor's expected utility when ordering 11 units. Important here is to note that the reference point is endogenous. The reference point is just given by the rational expectations, which are weighted with their, or the, the possible payoffs are weighted with their probability, and the news vendor compares the actual payoffs to the expected payoffs. 